Welcome folks, this is Grime and Cass. We are going to do a political segment using the Political Machine 2016 game as the background. I am joined, I am Coin Beaner, joined with Browbeat. Yay! This is kind of your shit, isn't it? This is kind of my shit. Okay, I'm excited. So I have played Political Machine 2014, I believe it was, which is virtually the same game. Um, it did start as an early access game, I believe. Uh, played it, I bought it. I know it's against the early access rules, but mm -hmm. it happened. Mm -hmm. um, I liked it, and then uh, I bought this game probably six months ago. Played like 20 minutes of it, so. 20 minutes of it, good. Way ahead of me then. This is something I like to do. I like to jump straight into the well and figure out the rest later. I, I, we've seen this already. We can see some more of it. Uh, coin, what you do oftentimes is uh, you talk very much in presence, in, in medias res when this happens, and I don't know all the verbiage. Similar to football, I can follow it along, but when you talk to me as if I'm a fan of been following it, I get pretty fucking lost. But I'm willing to have you do exactly what you do and just talk, I mean, highly specific terms, because... I'm going to get stymied, and that is rare, so please enjoy this. Now, specific terms, he basically means like 10th grade education political science. That's right. So. American politics. Let's we are going to start to new game. Um, here we go. Campaign length. I like to start long because I like to play for hours and hours. So, for this uh, particular segment, we're just try long. 41 weeks. Uh, this is a turn-based game. And four hours of putting you off. <laughs> probably starting funds um, we kind of want to make it easy but let's try challenging for now which that is challenging for me sorry on um, difficulty let's go for normal um, I do not want to randomize anything I kind of want uh, the demographics the issues everything to be somewhat uh, in reality, so it brings some sort of uh, comfortability, and uh, you kind of get a sense of American politics, uh, browbeat. That being lying, crying, pandering, and slandering your way to victory. That's the liberal states only. Ah, good, good. Um, simulate campaign. The campaign games AI playing both candidates. We are so not going to do that. We are literally going to play, although that would be interesting. Mm -hmm. Just have it. it but, it's a little bit like political masturbation, I suppose. Yeah, I really don't want to make fun of the computer, though. It just makes me feel a little low. <laughs> it's doing better than me. Oh. All right, so let's create our characters. Now, normally... Uh, in most games, I like to create my own. Um, for this, though, because, as you know, this is not a really serious game, but... No, no, the game is always serious. We're not very serious, but the game is. Yeah. So... Ted Cruz, he can make it. <laughs> we will go with the Republican, Ted Cruz. He is a senator from Texas, and Texas does hold a lot of electoral votes, plus it's Texas. They have a cool accent. He's got a lot of stamina. All right, so this is the keys here. Intelligence. Well, you know, you just read these captions. You kind of get the idea yourself, but stamina is very important because you will be flying and giving speeches. That takes a lot of your stamina. Money is important. This guy is obviously, you know, he hasn't uh, picked a lot of pockets. So he is going to have to do a lot of fundraising, which takes stamina. Which you can't do. <clears throat> and he obviously sucks at fundraising. <laughs> um, charisma will uh, rile up the crowd. He is definitely not Donald Trump, but we're trying to work with that. Appearances, he is young. He has a suit, a blue tie. He looks sometimes better than nutchucks. <laughs> All on the occasion. <laughs> the tie is formidable. Credibility. Well, you know, in my perspective, terrible credibility. But in this game, we're at medium. So, um, experience. Okay, so... He seems pretty damn well it. How far does it go? How many, how many more stats are there? Oh, here we go. Media bias. He's definitely, well, media kind of likes him. Because I bet you that is... The issue determines how much press likes your candidate. Yes. Mm -hmm. Minority appeal. Okay, so he's a white guy from Texas. He's definitely not going to get much of the Mexican or black vote. Now, I didn't randomize anything, so I do know from my perspective the states. Obviously, trying to go for the Mexican vote in California would be pointless, but we are seriously going to try. And the religious rating is yes. high, high, yes. high. Which means he's going to get the southern states, which helps. Strong presence. Although, when is the southern states ever? If you, well, browbeat, you may not know, southern states are commonly Republican. Um, evangelicals, you probably heard in the news. Mm -hmm. 
extremists, you could even say, um, you, know, you know, a lot of countries have extremists in their caucuses. You but know? I thought they were all moderates. Nah. Clearly I'm wrong. Let's do this. All right. Wow. Um, hmm. Interesting here. Uh, this is your, okay, hold on. I was going to say running mate, which would have been beautiful. Yeah. All right. Who are we going to go for? Um, hmm. We definitely want a very challenging character. A minority. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, folks, but Barack Obama cannot theoretically run again. Um, but apparently you can pick him. So let's go. Uh, Hillary Clinton, which would be pretty tough. Look at that. Stamina is about the same. Credibility sucks. What a shocker. But fundraising, she has a lot of money, which means a lot of ads and a lot of structures, outreaches, um, headquarters and such. Oh, what does she have? Experience. Well, she's like 70 years old, of course. Um, intelligence. Who? yeah, she is pretty smart. Media bias. She is going to be a challenge to us. And she has New York, which holds a lot of electoral votes, which will come in the long run. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, one thing I did, I do kind of wish now playing this game, I wish we had primaries. It would be a lot longer and a lot more challenging. In a full play, at some point, we'll find a way to do this. <laughs> this is just exposure. Let's see. This is you trying like fuck to impress me, and hopefully succeeding. Well, I just wish the game could just go with primaries. Just well, it. you go make one. Go I will make a I will simulator. Make one. Okay, so we're gonna go against Bernie Sanders here. Do it. All right. So obviously, uh, color coded, um, red. Well, I am Republican, so the dark red states means I have them. Dark blue states means the Democrats have them. All right, so in the first turn, Democrat will always move. Should be my turn pretty soon. What I like to try to do, let's try to click on these states. Texas itself. Texas, these are all the issues. Gun rights. And it will give you a brief detail of the gun rights. Uh, should be somewhere. The gun right perspective. If you click them, here we go. Now, gun rights is a top issue for Texas. So, undecided, these are independent voters, favor gun rights. It is a very important issue, obviously. Mm -hmm. Republican voters strongly favor gun rights, and it is a very important issue, obviously. Um, Democrats don't. So this gives you a chart of what the Democrats are against, in case you are, you know, not really into politics. I don't know what those words mean. Yes. Gotcha. Likes and dislikes. So, blue is the enemy, which is theoretically red, what you're probably used to. And the enemy gate is down. Good. Okay. Um, here we go. Uh, obviously, uh, the issue I'm in favor for. Uh, Bernie Sanders obviously does not like guns, and he's not going to get much votes in Well, that, that's a closed fist. That's melee. Of course it's anti-gun. He is an opponent to gun rights, but it is a big major focus. So, he is seriously not going to get the Texas vote. I have this. It's my state. It probably will not turn blue. Probably. So You've just guaranteed that it will. Um, this will give you some sense of the issues that are going on throughout the country. Um, and this is probably give you a good sense of the issues I'm going to have to talk about to win this election. Securing the borders. Abortion rights, which is a little shocker, but it is always an issue. Um, Hillary Clinton's emails. Of course, that's going to be an issue. Uh, even though she's not ready. Uh, <laughs> le election integrity. Um, fighting ISIS, which is actually a little low on the topic for Texas. Black Lives Matter is a little low in Texas. What a shocker. Supporting green jobs. All right. Everyone's kind of into it. Let's go to Washington, the hippies. Um, legalizing marijuana, which is technically legal in Washington, but yet it's a top issue. The environment, what a shocker. Election integrity. So we go down to California, which is a blue state. Climate change, of course. Uh, securing the borders, abortion rights, gay marriage, all hot topics. What about Alaska? Guns. Guns. Oh, no. Fighting Fight ISIS. ISIS. <laughs> Apparently they want to fight ISIS really badly. Um, election integrity. Securing the borders? Really? Yeah. In Alaska. Russians. Canadians. Canadians, maybe. They're Russians. Hunnings, you know. They, they're poaching on Alaskan lands. It's oh, not certainly. cool. They have all of Yukon to deal with. <laughs> okay, so, in this first, uh, if you look what on What is your first move? You build the settler, and they move to the neighboring state, and you make a new city, right? That's how this works. <laughs> Almost. Um... 
as you notice, you have a budget. You do have to fundraise. Uh, it looks like um, my budget here, if I go, is 2.5 million. Now, as much as I do want to build structures, I have to strategize here. Um, look at all the red I have right now. That's a good start. But it's um, soft red. It's lightish red. Pink almost. Now, we, uh, let's get here. As this will give you a good idea. Campaign headquarters will give me more cash. Consulting offices will give me operatives. And I'll get to that in a second. Outreach Center gives you endorsements, and this is what I consider important here. Um, so I do want to upgrade just a little bit. Now, we will go here. This will give you the news. 68% uh, of the country is undecided. What a shocker. 16% mm -hmm. of the country. I have the uh, Evenly split. All right. I will go to assets. This tells me everything I have. Advertisements, operatives, opponents, assets. It does not give me here. And then uh, fundraising, which I do want to do. I do have stamina points to use, as you can see on the bottom left corner. And here we go. Fundraising. Let's raise funds. I have second rate ability. <laughs> and I only got 179,000, which is actually not too bad. Um, but I am at 2.1 million right now. All right. Um, if you look on here, uh, where my mouse is, endorsements and operatives. Operatives are key figures I can move around the states to, uh, for instance, do all sorts. PR clout. So if I have an advertisement going on there and I have a guy who produces PR clout, that advertisement uh, will skyrocket to people's mind, hearts and minds. Um, I can't remember too much. Once we get to the next turn, I have enough to get an operative. It'll give me spin doctor appearances. It boosts your appearances up if you're in that state and he's in that state. Professional liars. Yep. Now, endorsements. This is what I consider important. You only have a limited amount of endorsements. Once you get at that endorsement, this map will just go crazy with colors. For instance, the NRA, the NRA endorses me. Mm -hmm. I will have... The, center, the Midwest or Southern states read automatically. Now, here's the key part. Mr. Sanders gets endorsement right after me. He will have some of my states and his Northeastern states blue. So the key is, so far as I learn, is get as much endorsements as you can. Um, take those endorsements, spend that PR clout you get from those outreach centers and take the endorsements when you're down because they give you a major boost in polls. So, I am down... So you're, you're hype men. You're yes. whoopers in the back. They will literally get you 20-30% higher and you Shit. don't... And that's not good. Okay, as you watch, some people may watch NASCAR. You're first. Yeah, you're hauling. You're, you're, you're doing... You're, your car is going 110%. You have to take a pit stop. Well, you know what? When you get back on the track, you're not first anymore. That's the same with endorsements. If you use all your endorsements all at once, he's going to use all of his endorsements, and you're down again, and you have no more PR clout. So my strategy in this game, long story short, is to time my endorsements correctly. Now, I could go to Oklahoma. Just an appearance alone will be awesome. We're going to change. Bernie Sanders goes to New York. All right, so... This is where I want to build outreach centers. Because I want the PR clout for the endorsements. Folks. Put your money in this building. Ah, look at that. Just appear, and this state's already red. <laughs> Election integrity. Hi, Ted. Now I could give a speech. Talk is cheap. Who would have thought? These folks care about reducing wealth gap, securing the borders, and the number one issue, election integrity. Mm. Um, so we will obviously... Talk about ISIS. <laughs> fighting ISIS. I favor fighting ISIS. Well, I will give the speech. That's not... Oh, Plus okay. 4%. That's actually pretty good. Out of, so how high is the scale? 6% top? 5% well, top? I've only seen 6%. Sorry. Um, um, I can't foresee it being more unless you give like an interview or something. I, sure. I really as, you saw, as you said, talk is cheap. Um, so but yeah, sense. one Little rally is probably not going to raise What about the wall cap? The ISIS. Yep. Well, sure. I guess that makes sense because jobs... And here's another thing in all. You have undecided votes, 11%. So I have to take that 11%. If I take, let's say, 10%, yeah, he's screwed. He will not get Arkansas. Um, of those 11%, does the game assume that all of them will vote? 
cor the game does assume, unfortunately. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, now, polling is never accurate in reality, or even in this game, or even some of the uh, election simulators that are out there. Polling will never be accurate, and in the games, you just have to literally pretend it's not accurate, because it's not. <laughs> Understood. Loose um, science. All right, let's keep trucking along. And he goes to Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is what Pennsylvania knows how to party. Pennsylvania in reality has always been a democratic state. Now, as some of you know, uh, election took place about a week ago. Um, Republican president elect Trump won. Uh, he did take Pennsylvania, mm. um, which was the first time it went red, so to speak, which means uh, the Electoral College voted as a Republican. Uh, Would you call red. It red Dawn? No. Well, probably later on in life it will be <laughs> um, it went red for the first time since 20 some odd years um, there are states Florida is commonly known as a swing state now we will go here into the polls and see where we're at popular vote I am up him just a little bit and here it tells you the issues uh, resettlement refugees apparently voters upset, right? 7.1% reducing wealth gap um, right now, electoral vote has it. He could get 317. I have 221. I do need 270 to win this game. Um, now, if I remember correctly from the old ones, here we go, strategy planning. This is what is very common. This is actually, if you just go here, here, now, correct me if I'm wrong, folks, but I am pretty sure that is exactly what Donald Trump had when he won. Somewhere <laughs> around that area. Um, he had a blue wall that, that killed Hillary Clinton. He um, built the wall, really? Okay. Literally. This is, these two are commonly known as swing states. Uh -huh. um, Pennsylvania never was, but the Republicans always hoped to grab it, and they did. Um, Florida is always commonly known as a swing state, but it does go red a lot of times. Mm -hmm. So, um, he did take these uh, Ohio, which was always known as a swing state, but usually went the Democratic side, uh, especially for Obama in the last two ter uh, elections. Uh, he did take that. So, long story short, Trump did take a lot of states that were commonly blue. And my strategy, however, is, well, you have it right here. This will get me 321 votes. That will get him 217. Now, obviously, this is not the uh, map uh, that happened. Uh, I'm probably off a few states, obviously. So, uh, Democrats are always known, especially liberals, to get the Northeast. Um, Bernie Sanders is a New Yorker. He will get New York. Uh, you don't even plan on that. New Hampshire is a very old, old school American. So these guys are Plymouth. Hmm. I mean, Americans. Entrenched. Sure. So, um, they Just will the go. Papers. They will go. They barely, barely got Clinton uh, in the popular vote there. So, they will go Republican. Uh, Maryland. Uh, New York, you know, New Jersey, I'm sorry, uh, Connecticut. So we believe he has a northeastern front. Another one, the West Coast, all liberal. They love their marijuana. They love their trees. They the love Gale their Lake. climate change. Look yeah. at that Nevada state. Oh, my yes. goodness. So uh, it looks like now this is one state I really do want to try to go for. Um, I'm well past 270, so I'm just being greedy right now. Um, I could easily hit Arizona with border control. Each state, you have to, you know, put your speeches right because 1%, yeah, that's good. If you, you know, give a speech, result 1% undecided. Mm -hmm. Bernie Sanders comes in, gets 3%. Oh, well, now you're down 2%. Right. In reality, there is a 3% error a margin, a margin of error. Uh, which means when they're doing the polling and the statistics, there's a chance when he's up 3%, he's, he can be tied with you or he can be right. up 3%. Right, he's enough gap to win. Yeah. Sure. So, um, and now I have my strategy here. That's set. Want to get that done. State wealth. These are the states I do want to do my fundraising campaign in. So, Texas. How can California be one of these states? It's always broke. <laughs> the state is always broke but you have to understand california not only very high populated you have a lot of rich people hollywood um politicians uh it has like 
Ugh, so many uh, districts. But uh, all in the southern tip, right? Nobody famous lives in Ocal. Correct. Uh, SoCal, San Francisco. Now, you could name a lot of metro cities. Um, Oakland, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and San Diego are common. Um, four major cities in one state. So, which means a lot of issues, which means a lot of activists, which means a lot of money being pushed to a lot of politicians to try to get the state under control. Um, and then a lot of, yeah, you know, Barack Obama visited, I don't know how many Hollywood actors, which are also activists. Affluent, yes. So, very important. I definitely will want to make a trip to California. Awareness. These are the states that are aware that I'm actually running for president. Uh -huh. uh, they're really not aware unless they physically see you and are really happy for the next year that they, yay, I shook hands with Ted Cruz. I'm so going to vote for him. I don't care if he wants to kill all minorities. That's as pretty much how it yep. Yeah, understandable. So, I touched the famous person. I vote for them. Mm -hmm. Polling data, which is our main map. Um, now watch this. Oh, Louisiana's happy. Look at that. All right, so... We could turn this off, but we will. All right, I have quite a bit of stamina left. I will go to Florida, give a speech. Social security is usually a topic, and yes, it is. Usually, yes. The old folks. Yes, I Republicans kind of like privatizing social security, and they say that is a very, very bad topic for any politician to speak of. Um, so we will stay away of, uh, and we will just go, uh, support Israel because <laughs> it's a high Jew community it in is. Florida. So Jews and Russians three per three percent. That is outstanding. That is great. Um, I'm quite happy with that. So good use of stamina. Yeah. Gave me a lot of awareness in Florida oh. and Sanders is about to mess that up and he builds a center back down there and now he's stuck in Louisiana it looks like what will you do in response Mississippi I'm sorry will you consolidate in Florida or leave not reach Let's compete with Sanders okay you got two-thirds of his stamina what do you do raising awareness around the south because no matter what the south will always vote for me yeah the south is uh, a lot of them turn red for you and you got some cash too but your funds are getting depleted son you're your half of your starting, starting capital. Oh, California! Now I won't have enough to do a fundraising nope, campaign here. but you showed up. Yep. And you're exhausted. Now, this will mean I will get a random character. But Bernie Sanders picked him up. Just squashed him. Fantastic. So these are emergent markers across the map that you should grab first if you get a chance. Yes, okay. and there will be media. Uh, well, there will be a picture of a camera on a state um, where you want to grab first because that will, or there will be one blue, one red. Okay. You grab it, you do an interview, that could raise, that will make it or break it for the moment. Uh, your popularity. So, let's see what fundraising does for me. Um, they do give you a lot of information you really don't need because the only button I could hit is... Fun, raise funds. Raise funds. 315000 That is actually really good. A um, couple of those and I'll be fine. But we are going to move on to Nevada. Um, because if you notice, I really want that to be red. Yes. Not blue. Um, so, uh, reducing unemployment. That's a great topic. I, You know, let's see here. I Make should jobs be in the desert. Yeah, three... 3%. They know I'm full of crap, but they still <laughs> like me because I was the first <laughs> well, one to show Well, thanks for the up. effort, buddy. <laughs> All right. So let's go down to Arizona. Um, that makes a few people happy. And I have, if you notice, my PR clout, six. Uh, and then my political capital, well, I could hire uh, operatives, is at four. So clout and capital are also currencies. Correct. Mm -hmm. All right. Weekly news wrap-up. Uh, I don't know why he didn't do it every week, but whatever. Sanders straightens Florida headquarters full capacity. He is really wanting Florida. And if you notice in this, just just this last election, Florida is a very, very important state. It was for Hillary. She took Florida. She had a huge momentum, but probably still lost. 
um, if uh, at the point turning point into the election in uh, in 2016 with Trump, Donald Trump, um, he needed Florida. He really did need Florida to stay in the game. He needed Florida, and then four states after that, he would have won it, which we all know the result. Um, he did win Florida. That was a shocker, amazing shocker, and that's when people knew this ball game is. You know, not decided. I mean, he, it's just, it is getting for real here. And what's up with the heckler? Uh, that is what uh, Bernie Sanders has. He has a heckler. He, I believe, uh, decreases your popularity in the state, mm. I want to say. A saboteur. Basically. Now, we're double check that too, but let's see here. Um, okay, I have a chance to win an endorsement. Um, here we go. These are. This is obviously not changed from Political Machine 2014. Uh, Christian, as you see, the red are normally us. Now, I obviously need to keep building outreach centers so I could get all of these. Um, I get all of these. I have a great substantial amount of popularity. So these are all the special interest parties. Correct. Okay. National Gun Owners Association, Tea Party Movement. Um, if you look here, Tea Party Movement, a grassroots organization. I don't even want to talk about the Tea Party. That brings up some personal issues where I just, they are, they are basically... At some point, I'll make you. They are basically right-wing extremists. They are fascists to the right-wing. Um, I'm pretty sure Russia and a lot of other countries have that ultra right wing. We'll call it the church. <laughs> the Tea Party is equivalent to that. Um... But they do try to bring in the old school uh, Republican GOP, uh, the Republican Party roots. Uh, as you see, grassroots organization dedicated to reducing taxes, cutting spending, and shrinking the size of the federal government. It also believes in uh, abolishing abortion, probably believes in slavery, uh, <laughs> bringing back yeah, slavery. Every state for itself, towards a better future, you know? I think. Um, yeah, it does have a lot of federalism review. And it's right below the National Association for Women. Interesting. Okay, so... so it's, a, it's a power bottom, is what you're saying. Big government will give me negative 5, tax cuts plus 10. Definitely want to talk about tax cuts uh, when I do use them. Um, I could actually afford them, too. So, I bet you this will probably get me the southern states. Um... I'm only getting three PR clout a week. I obviously need to build a few more outreach centers so I could uh, get a little bit ahead of Bernie Sanders. So when I do have enough to, spend, to buy all of these endorsements, I will do it just at the right time. Mm -hmm. Again, that is my goal, is to ha uh, have these available and use them when I need to. All right, Ted Cruz has won the endorsement of the Tea Party Movement. Tea Party Movement is a grassroots. We already went through this. And look at that. The red states are mine. And look at Nevada. It is yours for now. So let's look at Nevada here. 21% um, awareness here. Okay, so you have the wealth. You have the voters. Six electoral votes. Doesn't mean anything. It's just a personal thing for me. Um, voters are actually leaning... You know, towards Bernie Sanders, I'm Very at 35. Side. Yeah. A lot 20. of flex undecided. Very. Now, if you look here, cool thing about the game, let's go to why. Why is Ted Cruz up ahead? What is this? Below is why you're winning the state. Your issue score is 484, while your opponent's issue score is 748. Yeah, it isn't kind of my sense yet, does it? Your Bullshit. awareness in the state is at 21%, and your opponent's awareness, 5%. Bernie did not go to the casinos. If you took the awareness and multiplied it by the score, each of you would have 101, and your opponent would have 37. Mm. The percentage of your party in the state is 35%, while your opponent's party represents 40%. Winning the state, a combination of having higher issue score than your opponent, and how many people are aware of you. You can improve your awareness in the state by, huh, let's see, maybe just taking a couple trips to uh, Reno, Vegas, Carson City, play the slots a little bit, kiss a baby. Um... Obviously, give a little, a couple speeches, maybe some ads, and then take into account that even when voters may agree with you, some of them won't vote for you if they identify themselves as belonging to other political parties. Uh, 
terrible, one-sided. <laughs> also, operatives and advertisements in the state can boost or decrease the issue score dramatically. Yeah, we don't care enough about Nevada to put some operatives there, even though I can't even afford any. You know why I can't afford any operatives, folks? It's because I have not built a consulting office, so I am not building that political clout. But now you are. Correct. So if you want to compare this to reality, um, operatives will basically be your campaign manager, your advisors, your national security, foreign advisor, um, basically a lot of advisors going on the trail. These guys will help the speech writer, your communications guy, um, put what you should put in the speech. They will also help the... Ted Cruz, let's say, um, more informed on foreign policy so he doesn't sound like an idiot talking to the reporters. Um, it also helps their policy direction. Cause, all right, so let's go to New Mexico and then let's go to Colorado. So I still have quite a bit of stamina left. What do you think, folks? We should, we have enough money for the moment. I'm obviously gonna have to do some fundraising next week, so let's still outreach, because I want my endorsements. And then let's make a stop into Missouri. And look how quick that went. Probably turn, turn, turn. Bernie hasn't even stopped here yet. <laughs> All right. Now, folks, I can hire an operative. Oh, Bernie took Arizona. Arizona. Yeah, because he made a stop. I should have gave a couple speeches. And he just did a interview. And you lost Arizona again. <sighs> That's curious. Interesting. What do you think he's doing? What's in the computer's head? <laughs> well, he did that interview, boosting him up a little. He is uh, down 1% right now in the polls. He went back to the Northeast. He's most likely fundraising in New York since it has a, a lot of money, I would say. Um, let's see. Can okay. you assassinate the operative? <laughs> you can in a way, not, you know, illegally. Um, this Find kitty porn on his hard drive. Pretty much. Uh, political op this political operative can increase awareness, which is a major difference in this game. This is what takes those undecideds um, in this state. So let's see how bad we're doing in Florida. We're at 44%. Uh, Bernie's at 46, but I still have 10%, which means I need to get my butt to Florida and start campaigning pretty quickly. But after all that investment, he's still just tied with you, though. It's not that bad. It is not that bad. I did make one speech, I would say, there. He's been there, what, a couple times? So here are my operatives. The fixer here. He will uh, take out an opposing operative, just like you asked. Um, ah. Yep. Spin Doctor. This guy will increase your ratings by 15%. I love this guy um, in the state. Definitely want him on those uh, big states, like California, that has 54 electoral votes. Mm -hmm. 270 subtract 54. Come on. Okay, smear. The bullshit decorator. <laughs> Decreases opponent issue rating by 15%. So if Bernie starts getting ahead of me in Florida, I'm definitely going to need him over there. Consultant will raise your awareness by 4% uh, per week in that targeted state. That's a lot. Let's go advertising. Decreases your advertising maintenance because that does cost a lot, money, uh, a lot of money, folks. And I'm going to need to do it pretty soon. And here we go. Down and dirty. Lowers your opponent awareness by 4% in the state by having Arnold Schwarzenegger visit you. Just punches out anybody who speaks towards your opponent. Nice. Yeah. Speech writer. Your charisma goes up. Speeches become more effective. So you obviously need to position these guys uh, just correctly. There's really a fashion consultant? Yep. Really? Ads wow. become more effective too. Wow. And last but not least, the PR consultant interviews become more effective, which I personally have never used him. So, uh, let's see here. Will Ted Cruz get a spin doctor? All right. Now, I want him here to counter this guy right here. Do the operatives get a single move per week? Yeah. Gotcha. All right, would you like to appear on the O'Malley scenario? Hmm. I have been invited. Um, beware giving vague answers to any of his questions. He is likely to call you on avoiding the answer. He's a hardliner. 
very much so. Let's start. Here we go, folks. Good evening, fellow patriots, and welcome. Tonight, like every night, we defend freedom through the delivery information and Bill O'Malley. And you're watching the O'Malley scenario. A lot of Hollywood celebrities are just pinheads. And then what really gets me is how they try to shove their elitist agenda down the throats of regular folks. What do you think about this? I think that's a typo, sir. <laughs> A lot of Hollywood celebrities are just pinheads. Yeah, we already went to this. I like some of them. Others will be put to death. I definitely do not want to say that. Shut out of a cannon! Well, I mean, that's a hard answer. Let they let them rant, huh? They have every night, every right to speak. We have every right to laugh. Ignore them. All right. So now, right now, I am thinking in 40 seconds. My base. These are my true Republicans, which would probably shoot them. <laughs> they probably want that one. Out of a cannon. Um, so I, if I go moderate, he's gonna. I'm not gonna get anywhere in this interview, and I only have two, three questions maybe with yep. this guy. Not only do I mind them speaking, I think yeah, that sounds like a liberal answer. Freedom of speech or our strength of arms? Uh, let's see here. I don't want to go strength of arms. I don't want to lose that. It's too soon. So we are just gonna go here. Americans. And it did get me just a little bit. The government wastes billions of dollars. That's why I hate seeing the government being put in charge of anything that is necessary. It's just so wasteful and corrupt. What is your take on it? Now, oh, I hate corruption. <laughs> as I a, hate snakes. So as Ted Cruz, as a Republican, I strongly believe in less government spending. Okay. So big government is inefficient in a Republican's and mind. Given your helpers, you definitely want to speak out against them. Yeah, so, ah, oh, that gets me even a little bit higher. That's all. Got what I needed, thanks. <laughs> all right. Just doing God's work. Yeah. Bob Barbas. Right wing news. All right, so I did get a few independents. How about that? Um, I probably won't know until the next turn how crazy I did, but... We're looking pretty good. So let's go to New York. Um, as you know, I have not stopped once in New York. Nope. And I know I'm not going to take it. But it's the first time. These guys do deserve uh, my the appearance. Blow. Do it. So, fundraising. Not bad, actually. Um, let's build a headquarters just to piss off Bernie. And I want to give a speech. Yeah, stock is cheap. Um, let's see here. I really don't care about climate change. Um, securing the borders, I really do favor. So, tells me how stamina costs. Uh, charisma increases the effectiveness of the speech and ads, folks. Mm -hmm. um, also, appearance. That's where I need that you appearance. get the right tailor. 3%. That's not bad. Um, let's look at the state. He stubbed his toe. I am really losing this state. And 10%. Even talking trash about Bernie, I still won't get New York. No. Well, a maximum is a super percent gap, but will you get that max? So, in reality, uh, Trump and Hillary and Obama and Christie did spend a lot of time in Pennsylvania. So, that is something I do really want to try to do. Uh, because if you notice, Pennsylvania is a key. Now, let's take Pennsylvania out from 321 to 301. Mm, 20 Folks, points. that is 20 important. Let's take Florida out. 272. I am way too close to call it here. Now, I spent a good probably, well, I spent a lot of time on uh, the 2016 election. Literally a lot of time. And, um, you know, I watch a few news You were networks. basically an independent operative on your own. Uh, you said hobby. some words. A lot of words. But uh, I do watch one specific network, and I watched, uh, I watched him do literally what I'm doing to you folks. Let's see how he could win this. Let's take this out for a second. Let's maybe go here. What if he gets this? Which this is probably what it's looking like right now, folks. And that's a really bad idea right now. So, um, Get that Nevada back. I obviously... Let's put Red here. That gets him in the game even more. So that's all I heard for weeks and weeks before the election. And that's what all I heard. Literally, if anyone watched the election, that's all you saw on Tuesday night was someone with a really big fancy TV with a touch screen operation saying if he takes this, if he takes this, if he takes this, if he takes this, now he's our president. 
Mm -hmm. So that's literally what I'm going through right now, folks. So let's get four year football. All right. We are on eight out of 41. I've got to say, you're making this look fun. (laughs) Trying to. Look at that bobblehead. Bernie just, that's just great. I want a Bernie bobblehead. All right. Bernie bobblehead. As good as Jay Leno's, actually. Um, Let's go down back to Virginia, North Carolina, because North Carolina, or I'm sorry, Virginia was a very, very key state for Trump um, because it was going towards Clinton's, and it actually did go to Clinton in reality. Um, So it did set him back a little, but obviously you know the result. So... Fundraising. Let's give you an example of what fundraising is like for a state like this. 1.14 million. 62,000. Waste great. of stamina. But this is what I want it for. Why well, would you rather build the Opry Center first and then do the fundraising? Just to give an example. Sure. Okay. Now, the best thing to do is build all your centers first. Um, and then if you have any money left, Fundraise. <laughs> um, so how much of the campaign notice. funds are trickling away into Heineken's? A lot. Okay. All right, folks. Um, I can't do anything, obviously. You've been probably waiting for me. And look at Bernie take a few states. Now we're uh, Back even to Cali. right now. Um, <laughs> there goes his money source. Yep. He, I'm pretty sure that means he got a lot of money. And then he is now in Illinois with me. Okay, Bernie Sanders won the endorsement. Now watch this, folks. You already saw my Tea Party endorsement, and it gave me a lot of states in the Midwest, actually. Mm -hmm. Um, Gave me a lot of red states. Now watch this, folks. He just got an endorsement. Not much. The environmentalist is more of a West Coast thing, but he barely got any states. Nothing changed. That makes me a little bit happy. (laughs) In fact, I think Florida pulled away from him. Recoiled in terror. Now, I will fight that with Christian Confederacy because he keeps going... I would have thought guns. <laughs> nah, he keeps going to the south, and he thinks he's going to take some southern states. But watch this, folks. I keep saying folks, but, you know. Oh, there's folks. That has done nothing for me. It's giving you a few states in the south there. Not Florida, but still. So that might have been a good one. So you could also upgrade, yep. um, which we will do, but... As you know, I'm at 434000 That is very scarce. Need some money. Money. All right. Money. Money. Let's spend another visit in California, which we have the same amount of awareness. In will you dance now. with the stars? Yes. Tan. I will get my tan. Mm-hmm. All right, where tan are you going? Cruise. Montana, huh? First time you've been there, huh? And he built this. Oh, oh, he's going to New Jersey? No. no, Maryland. So you should show up to New Jersey next. Yeah, he Joy-Z. did not see that. Let's see what you get. Something exciting is going to happen. Let's see. I like interviews in this game, honestly. A rich donor hoping to make the land of opportunity. That's kind of what I needed, too, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I you was... found some millions of dollars. I know. In New Jersey. In New Jersey. Who would have thought? And what will we do in Jersey, if anything? I thought there was just crack in New Jersey. Where do you think got the money? <laughs> All right. So, uh, oh, Republicans are really... Okay, so let's go back here, folks. Legalization of marijuana is obviously a to- high topic in New Jersey. Why? Do they have crack? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe they're just one step at a time. Need some marijuana, to then sure. crack, then heroin. All right, so as you notice, Republican voters strongly oppose legalization of marijuana. I will get a lot of crap if I just start supporting it, flip-flopping. Um, my party base will just steer away from me. I don't know how Donald Trump did it, but it's not going to work out for Ted Cruz because he came out as a big hardliner Republican. So basically, it's like, uh, well, actually, just straight flip-flop. So use your own imagination. Um, all right. As your opponent favors legalization, which, you know, if you can't see that in his bobblehead alone, he loves marijuana. Um, <laughs> and it is an issue he has put some effort on. Me, on the other hand, no. I want to stay away from it because I don't support it, but everyone else does. So I'm not going to talk about it. That's right. how it works. Keep your mouth shut. Um, yep. So, reducing wealth gap. Here we go. It's kind of entertaining because you just, you know, you bring up the rich versus poor and that kind of, you know, enrages people, but yet they really don't care or understand. So, this, uh, you know, 
this is probably not a topic I want to talk too much about, but it's probably something that would get me a couple points. So, watch this. I will give a speech about reducing wealth gap, and I will oppose it, and watch it give me 0.1%. I'm sorry, plus 1%, because this game doesn't go that detail. Negative 1%. Wow. I probably just lost New Jersey. All right, so let's hire an operative. Um, what do you think, Browbeat? Now you got an, I mean, do I need a smear? Nope, you're too close to uh, Bernie. That won't do much. Raise my awareness in New Jersey. I'm thinking New Jersey, too. This is where yes. this guy's going to land. So I screwed up in New Jersey. I obviously need some ass saving right now. So um, just spin consultant or a PR consultant. So, nah, I'm not going to take any ads in New Jersey. I'm, I'm not going to spend that much money on there okay. right now. I don't care about them too much, sadly enough. What about a spinner? So, Spin Doctor will kind of increase my awareness, which will... Bernie Sanders probably won't show up there for a little bit, so I might have some time. Um, let's go back to Spin Doctor. Redo this. Uh, not enough. Can't afford him. Consultant it is. Six. Or wait. I mean, I'm assuming that you have to do one now. I could be wrong. Yeah, I kind of want one now. Okay. So, let's go to consultant. Alright. So, I do have a lot more awareness than Bernie, just like I thought. Mm -hmm. um, he probably won't show up for another couple turns, but hopefully that helps me a little. Um, it's... It could help me with the undecideds, which I want. Um, right now I'm using the rest of my stamina. Let's fundraise. I uh, get probably a good ooh, sixty-five thousand. All right, your turn, Bernie. Cruz falling behind early in the polls. This is the first time now, folks. I am falling behind. Um, I could make up for it though. Succumb to the heat of battle. Come on. Oh yeah. Okay, so Bernie Sanders, new headquarters, uh, reducing wealth gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Consultant for me, uh, North Carolina, as you saw, a fundraising campaign speech, which killed me in New Jersey. And I did find a rich donor. Um, probably some pedophile who doesn't want to be known, just get, throwing money to Discretionary me. Discretionary million dollar cash. Here you go. Yeah. Watch this for me. Now, I don't know why, but Sanders is so wanting Montana. Now, uh, yep, this, this obviously tells me I lost the state. No coin. Or does this game have a safe feature? Yes, it does. Turn by turn? Okay. How about we take a breaker right here? It's been a very good first exposure, and I want to continue this campaign. I want to finish this up with you. If so I can. this is part one. This is part one. Please, I want to do more. Yes, we want to see if Ted Cruz can make up some of the states and get back ahead. I think pulse. he can. Yeah. With a tea party and just a little bit of God. Guns, too. Guns, too. All right. All right, we'll folks. We'll see you in part two. Thank you for hanging out. This is Coin Beaner. Probably. Good night.